All right. So as I said before, contact page is set, blog page is set. So we will continue with portfolio, then services about and home. So we are going this way. All right. So let me go ahead to uh, portfolio. We created this before. Uh, I'll go to edit. Yeah. Edit, edit with Elementor. Yep, and we have this. So usually, I'll come here. I'll set this to uh, Elementor full width. Update. Then I'll come here, view. The portfolio templates. So same thing as gallery. Gallery. Yeah. And then um Update. So um, if you want to edit any of this, for example, we are we are professional in our works IRS. So you can change any of this. How many satisfied customers? You can see 5,000 satisfied customers, right? So it's just by clicking on it, right? On whatever element there. And then you come to the uh, left side of your screen to edit the content. Okay, like this one. This one is an icon. Okay, so you can go to your icon library and then change to any other thing you want to use. You get that? All right. So let's say I want to use this, for example, instead of the um, which one was there before. Mm -hmm. I'll cancel it, okay. What was there before video? Okay. So let's say, for example, I use this. Okay, you see that it has changed. All right, so I can go back to icon library and then change it back to video. Okay. So all of them are already in the, um, in the res uh, repository, all right. In for the Elementor plugin that we are using to design our site. All right, then for the pictures that we have here, for the pictures that we have here, um, as you can see, this is where they were all uploaded. So if I edit, I can add more pictures to it, add to gallery. So let's say I want to add my own picture, for example, add, okay. Then I can move it to the second position and then insert. So what you see now is that my own picture had now been included, all right? So uh, basically the gallery or the portfolio section is where you want to showcase the pictures you've snapped in the past and then you want your visitors to see them. You get what I mean, all right? So this is what the gallery or portfolio section is for. But if you look at this, I don't need the grid I can just leave it as gallery, okay? Or because the title of my page is portfolio, I can go and change it to portfolio, okay? And then I'm good to go. So our portfolio page is set up. Our portfolio page is set up. Um, now I'm going to services. Since I've finished setting up this, let me see if Preview, let me see how it looks like. Okay, yeah. So we're good. This close pages. So the next one I want to design is our services. Let me refresh. Okay, 
So services, go to edit, open in a new tab. Edit with Elementor. Element of full width update view install kits. I'm looking for services. Insert templates. Yeah. So here we go. Update. So that's why photography services still load for for you. So I want to set it at the center. Then I want to reduce the size. Okay. Then um, for this place here, I want to type out this copy from back here. Okay. Um, I also want to set this at the center. Um, more like center aligning it. Um, let me see. I'll do this. Uh, okay. Um, And, um, um, so. Okay, um, so for the, let me go to my content. Portrait photography is the first. Uh, okay, so come here. 
I just want to use our content that we generated, right? We keep it simple. Um, for this commercial photography, photo editing services, so commercial photography, yeah. Um, photo editing services. Mm -hmm. So you notice that the only one I did not edit the content is this one. All right, that's because um, the is not part of the services that um, that uh, what's it called that ChatGPT created for me. Okay, but I want to include it. All right, um, I can just say that what's the service? Oh, sorry, what's the service there is Studio Video. um event videography let me just use something like that event videography right so let me give instruction right Include events videography in the services and present on the websites and Okay, so it has just added the videography service there. So this is what I need.
if I preview it, this is what I see. Now look at the design. This line here is too close to all this. So usually we like to give some spaces, right? So how do I do that? I'll go back to um I'll go back to this place, right? Look for space. Space out, yeah. So I'll put it here. And then I can control how large the space should be or how small the space should be. All right. But you can just leave it at 50. 50 pixel is reasonable. All right. And then um, updates. Another thing is that I like to give my uh, this thing a little bit of animation, right? So go to motion effect. So you click here, come to advanced motion effects, um, and then entrance animation fade in up, right? This one to advanced, okay? Motion effects, uh, entrance animation fade in up. Okay, for this one here, I want something more. Um, so for this one, let me come here, advanced, motion effects, entrance animation, zoom in from the left. Okay, this one here, um, advanced, no, this one here, advanced, motion effects, Entrance animation, zoom in from the right. Yep. Then this one, this colon here, yeah, advanced motion effects, entrance animation. Let me use zoom in. Okay. So I want to uh, copy this effect here, duplicate it here, paste style. Okay. Copy this effect that I just did there. All right, come here and paste style. Then copy this effect here. Copy. Then I come here, I paste style. Okay. So then I click on update. Then preview. So, so I hope you can see that it looks more beautiful than it was before. Okay. Let me refer so that we see how it looks like. Okay. All right. So that's our services page. Okay. Um, I can still go and add all those animations to the other pages that I created before. Okay. So I'm just, I just quickly showed us how to add that. Let me refresh again so you see how it looks like. Okay. And then that's it. All right. Coming. Okay. Um. So I can close this. I can close this now. Then let me refresh this. All right. So the next we want to work on is about page. Okay. Uh. About edit. Open a new tab. All right. Um. Edit with Elementor. Settings, elemental full width, view, about. Okay. So here is the page that I want to work on now.
Let me see our content for about, okay, about, okay, so this is what I want to work with. All right. So about us unveiling to look photography. So instead of welcome to our studio, I'll just write unveiling to look photography. Okay. So yeah, um for this then come here. Okay. Um then meet to our approach and the likes. So I think we don't have enough content here. All right. Let me tell this guy. I need more content for the about us page. Instead of our skills, I can use our mission. Mission from here. Um, then, yeah. All right. Studio photography, 90. Final concession is by Photoshop. Okay, um, for this space, this video, um, this means that you have a video that you want to embed, all right, for people to watch. But if you don't have any video, you can just delete it from there so that um, can just delete it. Okay, um, let me come here. Okay. I want to change that image in the background to this. And then select. Okay. You can as well change to something else. Okay, so let me go to um Evanto um picture of picture of a black. So grab wow. okay. I think I prefer this one that the face is not showing. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Then move ahead to this. Um, coming. Um,
tells now to direct to contact page. So what I'm doing now is that I want to direct this button to contact page. Contact page. Okay. And then um, remember I changed this one on the other page to 5,000. Okay. So I want to change it here also so that it's uniform on all the sites. The entire site, all right. I remove this. Okay. Um, yeah, go update. Then for this guy, I want to give it a bit of animation. No. Um, So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, review. This is what I have. Okay. And then this is what I have. All right. For my about page right um let me confirm if i save that okay save and that that okay so lastly i want to design my own page own page I'm waiting for you to finish important. Okay, so let me update this first. So this is more like the slider here, right? We Presently, we have two. This is the first slide, okay? And this is the second slide. All right. So you can change the content on the slide. Let me just work on some contents for the slides and then see what I have. 
I need, need four different room feet slide slider contents. Okay. So ChatGPT is giving me different options, option one, option two, option three. So we just use one of them, option four. Okay, all right. So let me go, let me check the first one. Think capturing moments, creating memories. You look photography, where every frame tells your unique story, explore services. Uh, unveil the essence of you, uh, portrait photography. Okay, so let me just use this. Uh, capturing moments, creating memories. Capturing moments, creating memories. Come here. Um, yeah. On the board thing, I want it to link to the um, services page. Okay. That's for the first slider. Oh, no. The picture of the first slider. Um, photography memories.
Okay, for the second slider, I want to use unveil the essence of you. Uh, I'm coming. I prefer prefer option one. However, I'm coming. However, I need the adding to just the two words. Okay. All right. All right. So that is not too long to so capture live contents. So. Like that to unveil you. Unveil you. Um, so all this will be determined by the content your client gives to you, right? You cannot design a website without content. I'm just trying to develop something with content that um, I got from chat GPT, right? Okay, um, then for the button here, um, book a session, I want this to link to contact page, okay? Yeah, for the picture, unveil you, which picture should I use? Um, portrait photograph black. So you notice something that I've been using black, 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 so that um, it don't show me pictures of a white man. Usually, uh, in our part of the world, right, when you see a site or a business in Nigeria, and you are seeing white men on it, you think it's a demo site, all right? But you'll be able to relate more if the um, if the pictures on it are blacks, right? Whether it's people in that same company or not. So um, I want to use pictures that I can relate to it, okay? So I think I'll use this. All right, so that has been changed. Then we have two so far. So three, let me add one more. So what I did was just to duplicate this, okay? So for the third one, I want to change the content to what? Relieve events. And I can just leave the same bouquet session there, All right? So for the picture, let me see. Um, I'm black. Okay, so let me use this.
All right. So for this, and then preview. So let's see how it looks like. Okay. So this is the first slide. This is the second one. And this is the third one. Right. So um, let me go to other sections of um, the home page. See introduction, secret of our photographic project and all. Um, delete content. So the um, home. Welcome to the photography, capturing memory, creating memories. Um, okay. Okay. I can just come here. Um, first there. Lemon here. I can redirect this lemon to about page. Okay. So they'll see more about then. Yeah, I'll change it to that creating moment capturing memories. Okay. So come here, creating moments, capture memories. Okay. Then here, I can just do something like um, uh, our story concepts um, coming. I got some content here the other time. Okay, yeah. So I can see our creative approach. So come here. Creative. Let's see if I'm able to copy that guy. Okay. Yeah. So So I'm coming, let me go to services page. Services page. So these are more like the services and I have it already. So I don't want to um, Our services. Oh, we are. 
um, okay. So remember, I have it here already. So I'll just come here and copy and come back here and then um, paste. Okay, so it should be down here. I'll copy the other one to copy, come here, um, paste, all right, come here, I'll copy this guy, come here, paste, then come here, copy, paste. All right, so I'll come here. I don't need you. I'll delete here to delete. I have what I need now. Space. Yeah. Okay, and then I house now. Mm -hmm. So you need to contact. So this will lead to contact page. Okay. I like to use just yeah, not the full URL. Okay. So updates. And then for this call to action, remember I used this the other time, 5,000. Right. Then gallery can just duplicate what you have on your gallery or portfolio page. Okay. So if you have any pricing, this is where you can set up the pricing. But for now, I'm not using any pricing, right? Um, for testimonials, I'm not including anyone. Okay. Our team is a solo business. Therefore, blog posts, this shows here, right? Yeah, and then contact information. This is where I have it here. So let me go to my contact page and then see the contents that are there. Yeah, so contact page. Okay. And then this other side, let me change the address to this. Change the address to this.
So I think I just copied email from here. Let's put up here. Close. Mm -hmm. So I don't work till night. So I can say 6 p.m. All right. Then on Saturdays, I can say, okay, during the weekdays, I can say 5 p.m. Then Saturdays, I can say 6 p.m. Or 7 p.m. All right. Um, then, okay, yeah. So, well, let me just say Mondays to Saturdays, night to 6 p.m. All right. So we're good. Yeah. So I think I'm set up now. I'll close this. Now let me go to appearance menu. Right. So on that menu, we see all the other pages. So as you can see, this is a custom link, custom link, custom link. Okay. So home about services portfolio, they are all custom links. I want to change them to the real pages now. Okay. So I've just added them. Home about services portfolio. Let me bring blog here. Let me bring contact here. Okay. Then come here, delete this. Come here, delete this. Come here, delete this. Come here, come here, delete this. Yep. So that I save. So once I save, come here, refresh my contact page. Okay, so when I click on home, I'm able to see what I've just designed. Okay. Okay. Um, let me go back up. I click on about. I'm able to see the about page that I've just designed. Okay. So when I click on services, I'm able to see the services page that I've just designed. All right. When I click on port click on portfolio, I'm able to see the portfolio page that I set up also. Then this was the blog page we did the other day and the contact page we did the last class. All right. So um, that is it. So this is a multi-page site that we have just set up with the content that we got from ChatGBT. All right. So I expect each and every of us to have started designing our own sites now, all right? In our next class, all right, I will convert this to a one-pager site. I want to go through that route so that it's more easier for us and faster for us. So in our next class, you see this multi-page site that we have different pages. You see this home, about, so it means that we have different pages for each of the different sections, all right? So in our next class, I will convert this multiple page website to a singular page website. So the website will be just one page, but we still have similar menu like this, okay? So we'll do that in our next class. All right, so uh, that'll bring us to the end of this class for tonight. Let me know quickly, is there anyone with any questions so that we take the questions before uh, we wrap up tonight? Do we have anyone with any questions? All right, so I want to assume that we all understand. So our next class comes up on Wednesday by 9 p.m. 
And Hello, then... coach. Okay, all right, sir. Uh, please, good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. We really appreciate your effort. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Um, I try to go for uh, this one. Um, 